Japanese authorities have announced they've finally brought the reactors at the crippled Fukushima nuclear power facility under control. Nine months after the plant was damaged by an earthquake and tsunami, the stage known as cold shutdown is a key milestone. But the government is warning a total clean-up could take decades. It's been more than nine months since the earthquake and tsunami, but a radioactive relic remains. Since the meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear plant in March, workers have been trying to stabilise the reactors. Now the Prime Minister's announced they've completed a key element of the recovery process. The nuclear power plant accident itself has been brought under control and that the reactors have achieved a state of cold shutdown. That was confirmed. Cold shutdown essentially means the nuclear fuel has cooled to a point where there are no reactions taking place and there's less radiation being emitted. Dangerous particles have already been released, contaminating food and water and forcing tens of thousands to leave the 20-kilometre exclusion zone around the plant. In the disaster-affected area outside of the nuclear power plant, strong effects, deep effects still remain. Decontamination work needs to be done, debris needs to be cleared and the evacuees need to be returned home. There are still many problems remaining. Now that cold shutdown's been achieved, authorities can reassess evacuation zones. Dozens of workers put their bodies on the line to stabilise the plant. The Prime Minister says they've done the nation proud. There has been great contribution made by many heroes representing the people of Japan. I'd like to once again express the heartfelt gratitude. The operation is now moving into a long decommissioning phase. Some nuclear experts say it could take up to 40 years to finish the job, a heavy burden for generations to come. Nick Dole, ABC News.